So I am tired of having to respray the hairspray on my glass bed for my 3D printer. So what I'm doing is, is taking a 180 grit diamond stone and a tub of water and I'm going around on here and roughing this up. You see that this is no longer smooth. It's got a nice rough finish to it. You see that there's a few low spots here. So I'm taking out those, the high spots. And I've been at this maybe a half hour and I've got this pretty much scratched up. But the only thing that will scratch glass is diamond or the uh, titanium carbide type of stuff. Go around in a circle randomly, putting light pressure on it. You don't want to put so much pressure on it that it breaks. If you felt this glass, you'd feel the, uh, the roughness of what the 180 grit stone does to this. It just uh, kind of etches the glass. And then on the edges, you can go over this and smooth up the edges and then also do these sharp edges right here. see that the little milky glass is coming off but it leaves a nice beveled edge which isn't sharp anymore so here's the finished product all dried off and cleaned off if you want to go a, a higher grit like 300 grit you can to get out all these little circle lines and stuff but I don't think it really hurts anything so I'm going to install this and do a test print to see how well the prints will stick to this now without any glue or without any uh, uh, hairspray or anything like that. So I have a microfiber cloth with uh, isopropyl alcohol on it. Just cleaning it off. Get off any oil from my hands. So this just finished printing and I'll see if I can pop it off. I mean I'm it's on there. This is without glue or hairspray. Oh, there we go. Now it goes off. So instead of a really shiny bottom, it makes kind of a uh, dull bottom. You can see some of the uh, cuts in the glass or the nicks in the glass. And then in between prints or after you're finished, you just take some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth and clean your etched bed. So now you don't need any more hairspray, you don't need any more glue stick. I guess if you had a way to etch this with uh, like acid or a sandblaster or something like that, that method of etching glass would work too. But the only thing with using an etched piece of glass is your Z height has to be perfect so it's the correct distance from the glass. But after the bed cools down, this stuff just pulls right off. You don't have to scrape it. So far, so good. I've done about three prints on this etched glass and it's worked perfectly. As long as it's heated up, the plastic will stick to it, but once this cools down, you'll hear it pop and then it'll come loose and flake right off.